hi guys welcome back um in the last two videos i put out this week um we've done a few past questions we've solved a few past questions on uh, under algebra and um, geometry and trigonometry so in this video we're going to be solving questions under the topic of number basis so if you haven't seen those videos please make sure you check them out i'll put a link to them in the card and then they'll also be linked at the end of this video so <clears throat> like i said we're going to be doing um we're going to be solving some questions on number basis and um, these are the things that you should expect to have learned by the end of this tutorial so you should have learned how to convert a number from one base to another base so um, let's assume that a number is written let's say 15 and this number is in base 3 you would have learned how to convert this number to let's say a number say 77 that is in base 9 okay you also have learned how to convert from base 10 to <coughs> From base 10 to other numbers you have learned how to convert from other bases to base 10 and you would also be learning the addition and the subtraction of binary numbers now binary numbers are numbers that are in base 2 for example um 11 base 2 or 1 1 0 1 0 base 2 so numbers like these are binary numbers you'll learn how to add and subtract these numbers in this tutorial so let's get into the first one so our first question here says that we should change 432, which is a number in base 5, to a number in base 3, okay? So 432 is in base 5, we have to change to base 3. Um, and to do this, we have to first of all convert from base 5 to base 10, then we now convert to base 3, okay? So to change a number from a particular base, you have to first of all change this to base 10 before you can now change this to the other base. So let's, let's start by converting 432 to base 5. So let's write out our number 432. This is in base 5. So to convert to base 10, we're going to first um, count these numbers, okay? So I have three numbers here, but instead of me to count from 1, I'll count from 0. So we have 0, 1, 2. So I'm just going to put those counts on top of the numbers like this. Now, to convert to base 10, we're going to multiply the number. We'll pick the number. So the first number, which is 4 by the base which is 5 and raise that base to the power of the number of that count that we put at the beginning okay so the number itself multiplied by the base and you raise the base to the power of that number and then you add you pick the next value which is 3 so we have 3 multiplied by our base is 5 raised to the power of 1 plus pick the last number 2 um, multiplied by this 5 the power of what is zero. Then we simplify this. Once we are done simplifying this, our final answer will be a number in base 10. Then after which we now convert from base 10 to base 3. So let's break this one down. 4 times 5 squared, 5 squared is 25. So 4 times 25 is 100 plus 3 times 5. 5 raised to the power 1 since now is 5. So we have 15 plus 2 times 5. Now any number raised to the power of 0 is the same as 1 okay so here we have two times one which is two if we add this up we should have 117 now this is already in base 10 so now for us to change this number from base 10 to base 3 we divide by 3 okay so 117 base i'm sorry i'll, I'll put our three here we start dividing now take note when we are changing in a number from a particular base to base 10 we use this method it's called the expansion method okay we expand like this to solve it but when we are changing from base 10 to another number, we divide by the base that we are changing to, which in this case is 3. Okay, so keep that in mind. So let's do this division. Um, the first one is 117 divided by 3. So how many 3 will you find in 117? And that's 39. And there's no remainder. Okay, 3 times 39 will give you 117. So we write R, 0, remainder, 0. Okay, continue with 3. 3 in 39 should give us 13, and there's also no remainder. So remainder zero. Now three and thirteen. Three can go into what three cannot go into thirteen. So this should be four remainder one. And then three and four, three can go one one time, so it should be one remainder one. Um I'm still going to put three here because we have to get to zero here. So three and one we can go. So it's zero, but this will this will be our remainder. Our remainder would be one. So it means that one one seven from base ten is going to be what? So base three is what? We count from bottom to the top like this okay we pick our remainder from bottom to the top and that's our final answer so in this case it is one 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 zero zero one 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 zero zero now our value is in this three and this leaves us with b as our answer 
So our second question here says we should simplify 11, the number, in this 2 squared. Okay? When a number is squared, it means that that number is multiplied by itself, isn't it? So what we are actually asked to do is 11 base 2 multiplied by 11 base 2. Now, if you understand the multiplication of binary numbers, binary numbers are also these two numbers, you can easily just multiply this um, like a regular multiplication. It's just that 1 times 1, 1 plus 1 will not give you 2, 1 plus 1 will give you 10 or something. But if you know your um, binary multiplication, you can go ahead and do it like this. But if you do not, we have to change these numbers to this 10 first. Do our multiplication and change back to this 2 because our answers is given to us in this 2. Okay, so I'm going to change 11 to this 10 and then multiply that and get my answer. So to change the number from any base to base 10, you expand, isn't it? So we have 11 base 2, 0, 1. Our count is equal to the number 1 multiplied by the base and raised to the power. Plus 1 times 2 is power 0, 1 times 2 is power 0. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 times 1, this one becomes 1, is 1. That leaves us with 3 as our answer. So 11 base 2 is the same thing as 3, which is base 10, multiplied by 3. This is 9. Is it not? Now that we have our 9, we can convert this 9 back to what? Base 2 to get our answer. And to convert the number from base 10 to another base, you divide by the base you are converting to. So basically, you are dividing by um, 2. Okay, so let's do that. So we have 9 here. We have, so how many 2 will find in 9? Is 4, of course, remainder 1. 2 in 4 will be 2, remainder 0. 2 in 2 will be 1, remainder 1. 0 and 2 in um, 1 will be 0 remainder 1. If we pick our numbers going upward, we are left with 1, 0, 0, 1. Base 2 and that is A. Our next question says, what is the answer when 2, 4, 3, 4, the 6 is divided by 42, the 6? So we have our numbers in the 6. And the first thing, of course, to do is to convert these numbers from the 6 to the 10. And then we'll do our uh, normal um, division and then convert our answer back to the 6 to find the final answer. So let's do that. 2, 4, 3, 4, the 6. 2, 4, 3, 4, the 6. We start by putting our numbers, counting from 0. 0, 1, 2, and 3. Then we expand. This one is 2 multiplied by the base, which is 6, to this power I put here, 3. Plus 4 multiplied by 6 to the power 2. Plus 3 multiplied by 6 to the power 1. Plus 4 multiplied by 6 to the power 0. Now, 6 cubed is 216, right? 216 um, times 2, that should give us 432. Plus 4 times 6 squared is 36. 36 times 4, that should be um, 72 times 2, which should give us 144. Plus 3 times 6 is 18. Plus 4 times 1. 6 is for 0 is 1. Any number is for 0 is 1. So this is 4 times 1, which is 4. Now let's add this one. So our answer is 598. Is, um, sorry, this 10. Okay. So when the number is in base 10, sometimes you don't need to write the number because base 10 numbers are ordinary numbers, ordinary numbers that we work with on a normal day. That's why it's always comfortable to convert to base 10 and so on. So now that we have our um, bigger number converted to base 10, we can convert our 42 also to base 10. 0, 1. So we have 4 times 6 to the power 1 plus 2 times 6 to the power 0. This is 24 plus 2, which is 26. So now we can do our division. Our division has now become 598 divided by 26. So you can use your short division method to solve this. Maybe perhaps if you don't have a calculator, but I'm assuming that you have a calculator for this question, okay? So this is just 23. And right now your answer is still in base 10. So we have to convert this from base 10 to base 6 before we can find our final answer. Now look at your option. There's actually an option that says 23 base 6, okay? But this is to confuse you intentionally. So don't mistakenly pick this answer when you've not converted back to um, base 6. So let's convert 23 base 10 to base 6. By converting a base, 10, a base 10 number to another base, you divide by that base. So 23 divided by 6. How many 6 are we going to find in 23? I know that 6 times 4 is 24, so it's already past the So I'll use 3. 6 times 3 is 18. That should leave me a remainder of 5. 6 here cannot go. So we have 0 remainder 3. We take it up like this, we are left with 35 base 6, which is 
Our next question says, if 55 is x plus 52 is x is equal to 77 base 10, find x. So x is our basis here, okay? So now, we don't know what base this is because this is 7 and x. But let's try to convert this to base 10. This value on this side is already in base 10, okay? So we start with our count. 0, 1, 0, 1, right? We multiply our first value by the base and raise it to the power that we put there. So starting with 5, we have 5 times x raised to the power 1 plus 5 times x raised to the power 0. Plus, for this circle, we're doing the same thing, 5 times x raised to the power 1. Um, so let me just put the brackets in so that we don't get um, confused because of the multiplication and the addition. 5 times x raised to the power 1 plus 2 times x raised to the power 0. All of this is equal to 77. Okay, 5 times x raised to the power 1. This is the same thing as just um, x. So we have 5x plus, this is the same thing as 1. So we have 5 plus 5 times x raised to the power 1 is also still 5x plus 2. Okay? Is equal to 7, 7. 5x plus 5 plus 5x plus 2. If we call it like terms, 5x and 5x will add up to each other. And then 5 and 2 add up to each other. So we have 10x plus 7 is equal to 77. If we subtract 7 from both sides, we'll have that 10x is equal to 70. That means our x is equal to 7 if we divide both sides by 10. And that leaves us with c as our answer. It might look complicated, but it's actually very simple. So this question says that we should add these numbers and these numbers are binary numbers because they are all in this two. Now binary numbers have just two digits, which is zero and one. Okay. So any number that is written in binary will have only two digits. That's why you are seeing all of this like this. So but for us to be able to add this without converting them to these two and then adding them and now converting them back to base 10, there are a few basic um, rules that we need to know. And this is what they are. So rule number one, zero plus zero is zero, of course. Rule number two, one plus zero is one, or zero plus one is one. These two are the same, okay? One plus zero, zero plus one, just interchange. The next one is that one plus one is 10, okay? One zero, basically. And then the final rule is one plus one plus one is 11, okay? So now based on this, now we're going to um, attempt to add these numbers, okay? So let's write it out first. If this this um, number has the most digits, so I'm going to put this one on top. So we have one zero one one one. Next one next one one zero one, and this one 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 one. So plus. Let's just draw a line here. Okay. So these are our rules. Okay. So let's do this. One plus one plus one that we've learned just now is eleven, right? So we'll put one, which is our unit, and carry the remaining one. 1 plus 1 plus 1 again is what? 11. So 1 and carry 1. Now, look at this. We're having 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So basically, this is what is 11 plus 1, right? First of all, I know that this is the same thing as 3 in um, base 10. And this is the same thing as just 1 um, in base 10, right? So 3 plus 1 is 4. So we are basically being asked that what is 4 in base 2? I'll find our answer. And to do that, we're just going to divide. So, four year, two year. So our answer is 100. Okay. So, I guess we can add that to our last row. And see, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 100. Zero, zero. Actually, if you keep adding 1, there's a way to um, calculate this and keep going. So, it means that our 0 comes here. And then we are carrying upwards 10. So, we have 10 here. So, what is 10 plus 1? We've done that before. This is 10, right? 1 plus 1 is 10. So it's like saying what is 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 11. So 1, I will carry 1 again on this last digit. So 1 plus 1 is just 10. So that means our answer is 101011. Is it not? Which is the answer C. 101011. Be careful to look at this. Um, always look at these numbers carefully because they can look um, very confusing sometimes. So it's our final answer. All right, so we have a question here. It says 101 base 2 um, cube. Okay, so whenever a, a, a value 
is raised to the power of 3. It means that we're multiplying that value by itself 3 times. So we have x times x times x. And that's exactly what this is asking us to do. But before we do that, let's quickly convert this value to base 10. Okay? And to convert it to base 10, we use the expansion method. Alright? So we have 0, 1, 2. 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 2. 1 times 2 to the power 2 plus 0 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. 0 multiplied by 2 to 1 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 0. Okay, so 1 times 2 squared, I know that 2 squared is 4, so 1 times 4 is 4 plus 0. Anything multiplied by 0, so whatever this one is, you don't care for anything that I'm multiplying by 0, of course, it's going to be 0. Plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 0 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So your answer here is just 5. So now, what is 5 cubed? 5 cubed is what? 125. So now that we have our answer in this 10, we can now convert back to base 2 to find our final answer. So let's draw a pretty long line. 125 base 2. 2 in 125. This should be, um, I know that 2 in 124 should give us what? 372? No, 62. Yes. So we have 62 remainder 1. Is it not? And then 2 in 62 would give us what? Um, 31 remainder 0. 2 in 31 should give us 15 remainder 1. 2 in 15 should give us 7 remainder 1. 2 in 7 should give us um, 3 remainder 1. 2 in 3 should give us 1 remainder 1. 2 in 1 should give us 0 remainder 1. So I'm left with. One, 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 one. So five ones, zero one. One, two, three, four, five, zero one. This two. So this is how I usually count my own, so I don't make mistakes. One, two, three, four, five, zero one. Okay, and that will be what? One, two, three, four, five, zero one. C is our answer. Okay, so one more question for um this number basis topic. So this question says the equivalent of this is what? Now what do they mean by the equivalent of what? What are we converting this to? We don't know. But when you look at your options, we have just decimal numbers, regular decimal numbers. And I told you before that any number that doesn't have a base is just to the base 10. Okay, so the base of a number that doesn't seem to have a base is this 10. Okay, so basically what they're asking us is convert this um, number, this binary number, to base 10. So now how do we do that? How do we put our count when we have um, a decimal here? So let's let's do it. So starting with our units, okay. So your your place where this is your units, tens, a hundred, and all of that, okay. And this is your tens, right? So we always start with our units, and we put zero. Oops. So zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's for this side. Now start counting this side is minus one, minus two, and minus three. So now that we have, <clears throat> so now that we have our powers there, we can now start um, breaking this down, okay. So we have 1 multiplied by our base, which is 2 to the power of 4. So let me just write out what the expression will be. So 1 times 2 to the power of 4 plus 0 times 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 1 plus 0 times 2 to the power of um, 0. Okay? Plus 0 times 2. Now I'm here. 0 times 2 to the power of minus 1 plus... 1 times 2 to the power of minus 2 and 1 times 2 to the power of minus 3. So now let's simplify this. 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16. So we have 16 plus this 1 times 0 cancels out. Okay? So anything that has 0 basically cancels out. So this 1 times 0 rubbish. 1 times 2 raised to the power of 4 is 2 raised to the power of 2. 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. So we have 4 plus this is 1 plus. Now we come here. 1 times 2 raised to power minus 2. Now, what does that mean? Now, anything multiplied by 1, first of all, is the same number. So, you can see that this is the same thing as what? 2 raised to power minus 2. Plus, and this is also the same thing as 2 raised to power minus 3. Okay? Then we can break it down. So, this is 16 plus 4 plus 1. 16 plus 5, which is um, 21. Right? Plus. Now, 2 raised to power minus 2 is, is the same thing as 1 over 2 squared. You can see that when this 2 becomes my denominator, there's no longer a negative sign here. So, it's almost like the negative sign becomes 1 over plus 1 over 2 cubed this would be 21 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 is it not now let's add this 
So since our answer is given to us in decimal, let's break these fractions down to decimal. I know that 1 over 4 is the same thing as 0 0.25. I also know that 1 over 8 is the same thing as 0 0.125. So I'm going to add everything to my 21. So 21 is the same thing as 21.0000, right? And this we have 0 0.25. On that we have 0 0.125. I should have written this one before, but it's okay. So let's add it. <coughs> zero will come down here, is it not? Now, zero plus five is five. Zero plus five plus two is seven. Two plus one is three point one and two. So our answer is 21.375. Did I make a mistake somewhere? Because I'm seeing 21.375 here. But our answer D is giving us 22.375. So it's either I made an error somewhere or this is an error from um, the, the, the answer. So this is the closest to our answer so far. And this also was taken as, as the answer in the past question that um, I used. So let me just go through this. Okay, so I've checked this thoroughly and this is the correct answer, 21.375. So I think that is a possibility that an error was made here. But the idea is that you understand the concept of how to expand a decimal um, number when converting to base 10. So that will be all for this, um, for this tutorial on the number basis. I hope you were able to learn a few things. So I'll see you in the next one. Okay.